Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about USFDA FDA approved drugs 2022. First one, drug name. That is the tyrazipatide. Tyrazipatide. Did you observe one thing? The last four letters. What we have? Right. We have the tide. The tide means it is the peptide. It is the peptide. So the drug is the peptide only. Brand name. Brand name of this drug. Mount Jaro. The brand name of this drug is the Mount Jaro. Come to the mechanism of action. So tyrazepatide is the GLP-1 agonist. GLP-1 agonist. What do you mean by GLP-1? What is the function of the GLP-1? The GLP-1 stands for G means glucagon. L means like. P means peptide. Glucagon like peptide 1. So that is what the GLP-1. Glucagon like peptide 1. So what is the use of the glucagon like peptide 1? Whenever we stimulate is the GLP-1. Whenever we stimulate is the GLP-1, it increases the insulin secretion. It increases the insulin secretion. When the insulin secretion is increased, what will happen? Perfect. It decreases the blood glucose levels. It decreases the blood glucose levels. You know that? Insulin decreases the blood glucose level. So, this can be used in the treatment of hyperglycemia. The simply we say it as the diabetes. So, when we stimulate the GLP-1, insulin release increases. When the insulin release increases, decreases the blood glucose levels. When the blood glucose levels are decreases, we can treat the hyperglycemia. So, our drug tyrazepatide, our drug tyrazepatide, Stimulate is the GLP-1. When we stimulate is the GLP-1, ultimately insulin levels increases, blood glucose levels decreases. So finally, the function of the tyrazepatamide helps in the treatment of hyperglycemia. Helps in the treatment of hyperglycemia. What was that? Hyperglycemia. That is the first drug, tyrazepatide. GLP-1 agonist. Let's move to the second approved drug. That is the Mava Campton. Mava Campton. The brand name of this drug. Brand name of this drug. Calm Juice. That is the brand name. The manufacturer. 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 Bristol Mayers. Bristol Mayers. This is the manufacturer. What is the use of the Mava Campton? The Mava Campton used for the obstructive hypertrophic. What was that? Obstructive hypertrophic hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Cardiomyopathy. Simply we say OHC. OHC, abstract to hypertrophy cardiomyopathy. Actually, what happened? Abstract to hypertrophy cardiomyopathy. You know that there is a some abstraction. What is the abstraction? Yes, it is the abstraction in the cardiac muscle. When there is the abstraction, the blood pumping is not going to occur in the heart. When the blood pumping is not occur in the heart, you will get the abstractive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. But how it will occur? If you look at, in the heart, we have the cardiac muscle. In the heart, we have the cardiac muscle. Consider this is the cardiac muscle. Consider this is the cardiac muscle. This cardiac muscle contains the sarcomeres. What it contains? It contains the sarcomeres. 
what is the function of the sarcomeres this sarcomere is the contractile unit contractile unit that means it is involved in the force of contraction that means it is simply generate the some mechanical force which one generate is the mechanical force perfect that is the sarcomeres where it is present yes it is present in the cardiac muscle what they do just they pump the blood when the mechanical force is generated by the sarcomere then the blood is going to be supply all over the body parts all over the body parts but what the sarcomere actually contains the sarcomere actually contains the two protein units what was the two protein units one is the actin another one is the myosin these are the two protein units present in the sarcomeres one is the actin another one is the myosin okay when the actin and myosin will interact then there is a generation of the mechanical force when there is a generation of the mechanical force then the blood will be pumping to the all over the body parts when the actin and myosin will interact there is a generation of the mechanical force there is a generation of the mechanical force when there is a generation of the mechanical force the blood will be pumped the blood will be pumped all over the body parts through the aorta that we know that now what will happen if the person suffering with the obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in this person actin and myosin interaction will be more if you take normal person if you take normal person the actin and myosin interaction will be 10% if the person suffering with the obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy actin and myosin interaction will be more more than 10% can you tell me when the actin and myosin more it will be interacted then what will happen what will happen perfect there is a more mechanical force there is a more mechanical force now more mechanical force means right hyper contractility hyper contractility hyper contractility hyper contractility means the more force of contraction what was that more force of contraction the beats is increased but whenever the hyper contractility is happened the effective blood pumping is not occur effective blood pumping is not occur effective blood pumping is not occur due to hyper contractility so normal person normal person contractility is like this if the person suffering with the obstructive hyper contractility obstructive hyper cardiomyopathy the blood pumping is like this the force of contraction is like this due to more force of contraction the blood pumping is not effective now what we can do if you want to treat this condition what we can do yes we can decrease the actin myosin interaction when you decrease the actin myosin interaction finally hyper contractility can be reduced hyper contractility can be reduced when the hyper contractility is reduced then what will happen then what will happen yes then you will get the effective blood pumping effective blood pumping finally we treated the condition obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy so by giving the our drug the name of the drug is perfect that is the mava camtan by giving the mava camtan decreases the hypercontractility and we can make the effective blood pumping so the all over the body parts you will get the proper blood supply that is what the drug called mava camtan the third drug the third drug that is the otc conazole the third drug that is the otc conazole what is the otc conazole 
this is the you can look at the last one conazole what is the conazole yes the conazoles are the antifungal drugs antifungal drugs do you remember fluconazole itraconazole ketoconazole voriconazole all these azoles name end with the conazoles only conazole means antifungals so what is the brand name of the otc conazole the brand name is the vivjo this is the brand name brand name of the otc conazole this is the brand name now manufacturer manufacturer mycovia pharmaceuticals mycovia pharmaceuticals these are the manufacturer what is the use the use of the otc conazole if the yeast causes the fungal infection in the vagina when the yeast causes the fungal infection in the vagina fungal infection in the vagina for this treatment purpose we can use the otc conazole simple way the use is vaginal yeast infection vaginal yeast infection we can use the otc conazole but what is the mechanism of action of otc conazole you know that squalene squalene to lanosterol lanosterol to ergosterol what is the ergosterol yes ergosterol is the fungal cell membrane fungal cell membrane is made up of ergosterol all azole antifungals including otc conazole they inhibit is the ergosterol synthesis they inhibit is the ergosterol synthesis but how they inhibits yes by inhibiting the enzyme name called protein alpha d methylase protein alpha d methylase so the protein alpha d methylase this enzyme helps in the conversion of lanosterol to ergosterol when we target this enzyme then there is a no synthesis of the ergosterol then there is a no fungal cell membrane so we can treat the vaginal yeast infection that is what the otc conazole let's move to the fourth drug the fourth drug here lutetium lutetium that is the lu 177 lutetium vipivotide vipivotide tetraxitan tetraxitan lutetium vipivotide tetraxitan the first we will understand why this name is like this the tetraxitan generally this is the complexing agent generally this is the complexing agent if you observe many anti cancer drugs they complexed with the tetraxitan tetraxitan is the complexing agent now come to the lu177 that is the lutetium 177 this is the radio pharmaceutical what is that this is the radio pharmaceutical isotope are you getting my point what is that lutetium 177 what is the brand name the brand name of this drug is the pluvicto the brand name is the pluvicto manufacturer manufacturer endocyte endocyte that is the manufacturer but this endocyte company acquired by the novartis in the 2018 novartis in the 2018 this company was acquired what is the name of the company endocyte you can see in the option if the novartis is there you can tick mark the novartis also now let's move to the what is the mechanism of action of the lutetium vipivotide tetraxitan we will discuss the mechanism of action consider this is the prostate in the prostate we have the many type of the prostate cell lot of prostate cells we have here now 
देर इज द प्रोटीन कॉल्ड प्रोस्टेट प्रोस्टेट स्पेसिफिक मेम्ब्रेन एंटीजन मेम्ब्रेन एंटीजन प्रोस्टेट स्पेसिफिक मेम्ब्रेन एंटीजन दिस वी कॉल इट एज द पी एस एम ए वट वी कॉल्ड पी एस एम ए दिस इज द टाइप टू मेम्ब्रेन प्रोटीन टाइप टू मेम्ब्रेन प्रोटीन दिस इज द टाइप टू मेम्ब्रेन प्रोटीन वेन दिस प्रोटीन इज ओवर एक्सप्रेस देन वॉट विल हैपन यस वेन दिस प्रोटीन इज ओवर एक्सप्रेस दट इज द प्रोटीन इज मोर आर यू से इट एज द ओवर एक्सप्रेस वेन दिस प्रोटीन इज ओवर एक्सप्रेस ऑन द प्रोस्टेटियम एपथीलियम सेल्स देन अल्टीमेटली इट लीड्स टू दी कैंसर इट लीड्स टू दी वॉट कैंसर सो दिस प्रोस्टेट मेम्ब्रेन एंटीजन इन द नेम इट सेल्फ इज देर दिस इज द मेम्ब्रेन इट इज प्रेजेंट इयर इट इज प्रेजेंट इयर वेन दिस प्रोटीन इज द मोर नाउ द प्रोस्टेट सेल्स विल बी मोर वेन द प्रोस्टेट सेल्स विल बी द मोर दट वी कॉल इट एज द प्रोस्टेट कैंसर now you got the prostate cancer due to prostate specific membrane antigen so due to this protein we are getting the prostate cancer we are getting the what prostate cancer now tell me if you want to treat this prostate cancer if you want to treat this prostate cancer what you can do obviously we can decrease this production we can decrease this production or else you can kill the prostate cells what we are doing by giving the lutetium by giving the lutetium 177 177 vpo vpo tied tetroxiton tetroxiton by giving this drug the lutetium vpo tied tetroxiton now it will enter inside the prostate it will enter inside the prostate and whatever we have the peptide that is the vpo tied that was the peptide again this peptide vpo tied this peptide binds to the psma binds to the psma expressing tumor cells expressing tumor cells vpo tied binds to the psma expressing tumor cells now after enter inside it will binds to the our protein that is the psma expressing tumor cells may bind ho jata then what will occur yes now we have the lutetium 177 this lutetium 177 it start releasing the radiation what is the radiation here going to be released that is the beta particle it releases the beta particle and it kills the tumor cells it destroys the tumor cells that is how the lutetium 177 vpo tied tetroxiton will work how they are working the first one lutetium vpo tied tetroxiton enter inside the prostate cells then vpo tied binds to the psma expressing tumor cells after that the lutetium 177 releases the releases the beta particles and destroys the tumor cells so we treated the prostate cancer the specific use of this drug the specific use of this drug psma positive prostate cancer psma positive prostate cancer so due to psma if you are getting the prostate cancer then we give the lutetium vpo tied tetroxiton okay so that is all about the part a usfda approved drugs in the next video we will discuss the other usfda approved drugs in the year of 2022 Thank you all of you